Welcome to the top end of Australia. We are getting stuck into our biggest and most epic adventure yet, fall driving, fishing and exploring one of the most wild, rugged and untouched places in Australia. This is Arnhem Land Unleashed. Lucky I'm not a hitchhiker. Yeah! <laughs> oh my god! Here we're at Ga we're gonna say it wrong, but Garahan, Ga something like that. Anyway, <laughs> it's also known Macassan. We're off to Little Bondi now. There's rumours that there's surf there, so we're gonna check that out as well. We cannot wait to dust off maybe the dust off me surfboards. I haven't seen the light of day for about four bloody months. Go so surf the crocs. anyway, we're gonna put the drone up, make sure there's no crocs, and then maybe go surfing. I don't know. We'll just see what happens. Surfing Arnhem Land. I've never heard of it before, but um, the local fellas in town tell us that it's possible. So. Anyway, let's check it out. Oh, she's getting a little bit tight heading down here. I, um, I've only seen this beach called Bondi Beach, but I know there's a traditional name that we're gonna try to pronounce in a minute because we suck at these traditional names, hey Sarah? We absolutely suck. It's all about rolling your tongue and all sorts of stuff and I can't do that to save me life. So anyway, check out this beautiful little track. The RFI cell fire go antenna is getting absolutely flogging up the top, but it definitely feels like you're proper out in the bush here. Look at this, Pam Dammers. Oh, it looks like we're here. Oh, what an absolutely terrible spot to pull up for the day. Shit our spot, eh? Oh, it's terrible. I hate it. I can't believe we got you here. <laughs> <laughs> this one's called Little Bondi, and uh, apparently this is where they surf along this beach here. Big red um, rocks here, and it does look a little bit shaped like Bondi. I don't know why they've really called it that. The water's better than Bondi, and there's way less people, so it's not really like Bondi, but yeah, we're gonna go for a little swim out here. Maybe you do some croc spotting. Apparently there's a big bugger here the other day, so. Yeah, maybe dust off the surfboards. Not that I can see too many waves coming through, to be honest with you. But um, yeah, I'm a bit disappointed about that. But I might head out anyway, just to say I've surfed Arnhem Land. If you're waiting for the right time to upgrade your 12 volt setup, now is the time to do it. iTechWorld are having a massive Black Friday month sale, up to 85% off and with our discount code SKT, that'll get you another 5% off, so up to 90% off 
store wide. That's lithium batteries, solar blankets, solar panels, power stations, DC and DC chargers, you name it. Now is the time to buy. It won't be cheaper. Don't miss out. It's while stocks last. Back to the video. All right, so one thing is needed to be said about this place. You cannot swim here freely. There is crocodiles, there is big sharks, and there are signs that say there are crocodiles and other things that can eat you alive. So I would recommend putting the drone up first if you own one. Failing that, go in at least with six friends because then your, your, your odds are actually decreasing by multiples in that case. So definitely take friends out with you. Don't go out too far and look out for crocs because they do get sighted. There was actually one here two days ago. So anyway, we did all those things, went in together, put the drone up, we put two drones up and we're fine. So yeah, just thought I'd say that before someone just thinks you can swim here and gets taken by a big croc. So anyway, the, how do you say this place, Emma? Please try. Yeah, we'll, we'll just put it up on the screen and you guys can have a crack at saying it, but we definitely can't, but. D-U-M-N. -M. With a weird, mm, yeah, mm sound. U -R -A. There we go. Put it up on the screen down below, <laughs> but this is a terrible spot. Definitely don't come down here. You'll have a terrible time. Banger. There we go. That's how you say it. <laughs> Little Bondi. You almost got bogged. <laughs> you wouldn't want to get bogged with us around because we got cameras and a Land Cruiser. <laughs> Radio Bondi was pretty sick. Everyone told us how good it was and it definitely lived up to expectations, do you reckon? Yeah. yeah. De definitely doesn't feel as crocky. Like we were saying, probably Broom is more crocky than, well, I, I personally reckon Cable Beach and, and like, you know, what's that place out there? Yeah, Bar Creek and stuff. That That's definitely a lot crockier than that joint. But anyway. The water was so clear, so we can see so far. Yeah. Like, uh, see him coming hopefully but anyway we're heading out to a spot called Goanna Lagoon now and uh, apparently it's one of the best swimming holes around here so we're gonna wash the salt off in some nice fresh water yeah right so this is where all the Goannas hang out these these guys Danny and Emma reckons is like a, a like a freshwater monitor Sarah's just stuffing her face what's that mm. Vegemite scroll from the bakery yummy mm. <laughs> but check this out you got this little crevasse sort of looks a bit like a butt crack and yeah, you're meant to swim in the butt crack and then float down into the small intestine down there. Oh, I might have stuffed up here. Look how red I am. Turn around. Oh my god. Oh. That's nasty. Oh my god. What what happened? Oh, bloody <laughs> white, white boy. White boy. <laughs> What's the white boy jumping? Oh my god. <laughs> You've got a tan line around your hair. <laughs> That's freezing, eh? Well, it just feels cold because I'm so hot. <laughs> Big red lobster coming through the cave. Look at the contrast between the white rock and my shoulder. <laughs> ah. Ooh, Today we are going barra fishing up in Arnhem Land, so we're going to bring you along for it. It is the water is calmer than a chicken palmer. <laughs> Hopefully, I can catch me second barra. And Sarah's gonna catch her first barra, hopefully. We're going out with De Danny and Emma again, our good mates from Lifestyle App. And uh, the barra have only just started coming on the tube because the water temp has just reached 27.5 degrees, which is what they come on at. So fingers crossed we can catch them barra Monday because yeah, I'm not coming up to Arnhem Land and not catching a barra Monday, so. And barracuda don't count either. First point of call, we gotta catch some bait because fish love live bait. So Sarah's jigging this little I don't even know what you'd call this contraption. It's just hooks with some shiny cellophane on it. And in the sunlight, it, it just shines and these little bait fish just jump on the hooks, which is just insane. So Sarah's catching absurd amount of fish and then they go in the kill tank, well, the live tank, sorry. And that's them all swimming around in there. And then Danny's hooked up a little pump. So then it just keeps feeding them fresh water. Then the excess comes out the back 
And yeah, that's what keeps them alive. And then we'll take these up the creek and then dangle them in front of some barra's face and see if they were tempted for a chew. So that's the, the game plan anyway. But this is the bait spot right next to this big red pylon. Come right up and then... And, then and if you look on the down. sounder, that big blotch there, that's all bait. So, and there's bait down the, below as well. So anyway, that's what we're doing. <laughs> Sarah's on to some serious bait fish. The size of these things. Oh, look at that. <laughs> You can just shake it. There's one. No, the other one's not coming up. Ow! Ow! Come here, you bloodies. Look at that. <laughs> Come here. A little tickle, tickle, tickle. <laughs> tickle, 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 tickle. <laughs> Sarah's trying to get her first fish off ever. Come on, get it. It'll slap you in the face otherwise. Hey, there we go. It's not dead. <laughs> it's kicking harder than a Hereford bull, mate. Don't drop it. Turn the drag right down. So yeah. It's not very big. <laughs> yes! yes! You got yes! it! Yes! <laughs> 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 Woo! <-hoo! laughs> you didn't that's drop it. it. Look, that's my biggest skinny ever, I think. <laughs> It's not even that big either. Oh, oh that's sick. <laughs> Winding, hold the rod tip up. Go, one, 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 one. Oh, one. No, no, it's not. It'll be sweeter towards the boat. This is a better fish. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, he's a bigger skinny than mine. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> that's oh a monster. Shit, look at that fish. It's a monster. <laughs> <laughs> Right, that was hard. <laughs> well done. That's sick. That's a three metery. Thank God for Emma's supportiveness. <laughs> That's my first big fish. Yay, Sarah! <laughs> All right, let's get him back in the drink. Woo! <laughs> there he is. Oh, he's not happy. Is it oh! Oh, <laughs> the circle of life. <laughs> <laughs> There's Darwin's theory of evolution, the, the weak die off. G'day guys, this year we'll be at the Perth four wheel drive and adventure show. We're going to be down in the content creator section. So the dates for that are the 10th to the 12th of November. Come down, say g'day, we're going to have Leroy on display, as well as our brand new van, which has some brand new technology in it. That's going to be a sneak peek for everyone. Cannot wait to show you that. Plus we'll have all of our merch there. So come down, say g'day, support us, and uh, yeah, we'll see you down in Perth. If you want a small discount off ticket prices, we've got a discount code which is SKT which you can use to buy tickets online. And the link is in the description for that as well. So see you down there guys. I think it's a guardy man, a long tom. Oh yeah, this ain't long. Oh look at it! It's a skull dragon. <laughs> still Imagine if the shark just came up and got it. Look at that! <laughs> they hooked him in the tail. <laughs> <laughs> just got bitten by that long tom. Look at that, he put about a thousand holes oh. in me. Good thing I'm not an inflatable rubber ducky or something. I'd be at the bottom of the ocean with that big bronze whaler. Look at that. Look at all the blood. Oh they do some serious damage to your finger, eh? Look at that carnage on the big thumb. That's Lucky I'm not a hitchhiker, because that, that looks a bit alarming, eh? Even the shark. Well, that little session there was pretty eventful. A lot of screaming, a lot of blood, and a lot of fish, which is what we want. But now we've come into the Giddy River. And Danny's trying to put us on the Barramundus. Sarah's even having a crack. I reckon Sarah, with her luck, she'll probably catch them all today. But uh, we're just running some gold bombers out the back and giving it a little bit of jiggy jig, which is what they say in Bali too, a little bit of jiggy jig. And uh, we'll see how we go here. But like I said, they've only just come on the chew, so they're a bit hit and miss still at the moment. So last week they liked silver and gold. This week they might like purple and red, who knows? So. Alright, so we're going through the Giddy River. 
Amazing. And we can literally see a massive school of threadfin fish and we're casting on top of them and they're just swimming away from the lure. Nah, no, it's not a barra, it's a queenie. Oh, oh no, it's a little... Ah, oh, damn it. What is that? Queenie. Thought it was a barra. Oh! <laughs> That's alright, you still caught something. Bloody eyes, mate. <laughs> Barracundus. Oh! oh. <laughs> Big Queenus. Queenus Caramundus. <laughs> He's over there. Oh, he's huge! Yes, Danny! <laughs> <laughs> what a donkey! That is massive! <laughs> No, you're all right. Looking up. Nah. Nah, it's a big, big. It's cleaning or something. Oh, oh, that is massive. It's nothing out. Oh. Shark. Is that a shark? Yeah. Yeah, yes. You went boom. It's a shark. <laughs> Ah! <laughs> 
body at one point. <laughs> oh. oh, you didn't see where the lines come around oh. Yeah, yeah, no, I had him, I had him. We see the lines. How cool is that? Arnhem Land, baby. Oh. So when you're in the NT, this is exactly what you got to look out for. We are out in East Arnhem Land, stuck on a mud flat, trying to go mud crabbing 15 kilometers away from camp. Thanks for watching, legends. Make sure you click and watch this video right here.